Hello students, we have already studied about properties of matter where we know that matter is anything that has mass and it occupies space and you can also perceive through your senses. Now we are going to study about properties of matter and states of matter. There are three states of matter which you have studied in your lower standards, isn't it? But students, from now onwards, there are no three states of matter, but there are five states of matter. Let us list down the five states of matter. The first three states I know many of you know, that is solids, liquids, gases. And the fourth state of matter is students, plasma. Now this plasma are known as the super hot gases. And the fifth state of matter is Bose-Einstein condensate. Now this Bose-Einstein condensate is the fifth state of matter and which is known as the super cool gases. For you students, in this chapter, we are going to deal only in detail about solids, liquids and gases. We are not going to talk about plasma and Bose-Einstein condensate. But for your information, you should remember that from now onwards, we will say there are five states of matter, which includes solids, liquids, gases, plasma and Bose-Einstein condensate. So let us start in detail about the solids. Now if we talk about the solid state, we have seen that we see a rock remains in the same shape and the same place for years together unless it is broken or moved. Now why this is happening? Why does the rock does not change its shape? Now rock is a solid substance and in solid, if you see the structure coming there, in the solid, the particles are very closely packed to each other. They are very closely packed. There is no space between them. They can't move. So because of this, because of the particles being very close to each other, the solid remains in the same shape and same place for years together. So as the particles of solid are closely packed together, they cannot move much. And this is why the solids get their shape. So with the help of these particles, we are going to list down the properties of solid. Let us start with the first property. The first property is solids have definite shape and definite volume. How do we know it's a definite shape and definite volume? Because particles being very close to each other cannot move much. That is why they are going to have a definite shape and a definite volume. The second point is, I say solids are elastic or I can say they are rigid. Let us start with this point, rigidity. When I say rigidity, what do you mean by rigidity? Some solids do not change their shape even when external pressure is applied. For some solids, when I put pressure on them, if they don't change their shape, then I say the solids are rigid and this property is known as rigidity. The second point is about elasticity. Elasticity, what comes to your mind when I say elasticity? It's the rubber band. So how will you define it? Some solids change their shape when you apply external pressure on them. But when you remove the external pressure, they go back to its original shape. And this property is known as elasticity. Just like rubber band, when you put pressure, when you stretch it, it changes its shape. But when I remove that pressure, it comes back to its original shape. So this property is known as elasticity. There is one more property of solid which is known as plasticity. Now what is plasticity? Some solids do change their shape when external pressure is applied. When I apply external pressure, it will change its shape. But when I remove the external pressure, it does not regain its original shape. And this property is known as plasticity. Very good example I can take is dough and clay. See students, we make clay stuff, isn't it? When you put pressure on it, it does change its shape. But when you remove your hand, when you remove the pressure, does it go back to its original shape? No. So this property is known as plasticity. So with this, we have listed down the properties of solids where they have 
definite shape and definite volume they have rigidity they have elasticity and they also have plasticity